spoke because that was the candidate himself saying, if, if you're black, you got to support me. If you don't support me, you're really not truly black. I mean, that was a, a way over the top. But look, we've come to sort of expect this. And, and, and I read that other quote just because it's emblematic of the interview. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, w w I, I thought that when he got off the trail, because you know, Ed, you and I have both been on presidential campaigns, mm -hmm. particularly primary campaigns. You're in a different town every night. You're sleeping in a strange bed in a right. strange hotel. You're moving for, you know, you, if you're the candidate, you've got a lot of pressure on you, a lot of things to do. I thought when he got back to Delaware that these kind of missteps and the inability to string together two sentences would disappear because he's at home, he's able to walk downstairs and go to his rec room and, and, and face the camera. But it's gotten worse.